Tonight, FBI agents have cleared the property belonging to suspected MLK bomber Kevin Harpham. Harpham was arrested Wednesday morning in Stevens County. He's accused of planting the bomb, which federal agents say put hundreds of innocent people at risk. The bomb was found by three men working for the temp agency Labor Ready, who were cleaning up the parade route that morning. The men say they never felt like heroes for what they did. They were just doing their job. And as KXLY Force Mike Gonzalez reports, those so-called heroes feel that finding that bomb may have cost them their jobs. Cleaning up the Martin Luther King parade route was just another job for Mark Steiner, Brandon Klaus, and Sherman Welpton. Walking up, doing our job, and he, the backpack was sitting right there. He walked by and I picked it up and going, hey, look what I found. And uh, Sherman come over and him and I actually played tug of war for a half a second. Well, when you look inside that backpack, what are you I thinking? thought it was somebody trying to play a prank or something, you know, and like, like you said, it was fake. And then we were just looking at it and then we decided to call the cops to check and see if it was real. Steiner called police and to his surprise, no one showed up. So after about 15 minutes, Brandon Klaus called the Spokane Police Department again. I called them and I said, hey, you know, we've got this package here. We've already called it in. Where are you guys at? They said, we've put your information in and we've got, we haven't had someone dispatched yet, but we'll uh, right. get someone on it. The three were temporary employees of Labor Ready. They were hired to do work for the Spokane Public Facilities District. They're the company that manages the Spokane Arena, INB, and Convention Center. But rather than being hailed as heroes, the three say they were scorned by Labor Ready and the PFD. Why did they chew you out? We did everything wrong, according to everybody else. We shouldn't have ever picked it up, apparently. We should have never called the police. We should have reported it to security before we ever touched the package. We should have never looked inside of it. They told us all these things. And we definitely should have never contacted the media. The three believe as payback for how they handled the bomb, they're no longer being allowed to work for the PFD. During the course of our interview, just by chance, their CEO drove right by us. When I caught up to Kevin Tuhig, he said, quote, I didn't hire them, so I couldn't fire them. This has gone way too far. And that's true when you consider Steiner, Klaus, and Welpton were temp employees hired by Labor Ready, not the PFD. I just ran down that gentleman over there who runs the arena and, and a lot of the other things, the CEO. He says he can't fire you because he doesn't hire you. How does that work? The three admit they had in fact worked for Labor Ready for almost a month after they found the bomb, but were recently told by Spokane facilities that their services were no longer needed. We, we were an incident, an incident that they didn't want to, to you know, put up a bad name on their company or their business. and. Uh, so they found a way to let us go after that. In Spokane, I'm Mike Gonzalez, KXLY4 HD News.